I actually think that framework is very consistent with another, a whole series of frameworks that exist. Noel Tishy's work on the teachable point of view and the virtual teacher cycle. I teaching love cycle. Noel Tishy. I think, I think Tishy puts his finger on so many fundamentals. Um, one of the important things in what you've just described is that leaders do have to have an edge. Uh, as Tishy says, you have to make the hard decisions. It is really critical that the people working with you feel that they can push back on you, that they can bring an idea to the table and engage with you. At the end of the day, that doesn't mean you have to agree with every opposing point of view, but you have to be able to listen to it, engage with it, and then make a decision that you can say to your colleague, here's why I'm not going that way. That's how real authentic leaders, I believe, work. Uh, in your framework with the vision and the structure that you've put in place, it's much like Jerry Porras and Jim Collins in building their company's vision. All of those fabulous companies that achieved in their work had a core ideology that in included, had two parts, a core purpose and values. And they said the values never change. The purpose may, depending on what's happening in the market. But those two together, paired with an envisioned future, and you have success, from Sony to Disney. I think what you've just done with the leader of Learner overlays both Tishy's principles and theirs.